Hello, Arcadia here with the How Marcus Saved Mercenary Day DLC uh, Headhunter Pack for Borderlands 2. So I just thought I'd try to get this out before Christmas because it's technically the like the Christmas Headhunter Pack. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, and we'll get started. This was one of my favorites, actually. Happy Mercenary Day! I got a job for you. You ever been to Angerton? Place sucks, full of laughing and singing. They're good customers, though. And they haven't responded about the shipment of guns I sent them by train. You want to do me a mercenary day favor and check the town out for me? I just had to quickly check the, um, the vendor over there. Just for the heck of it. So... The reason why this is probably one of my favorite ones is at the end uh, you you take on the big giant snowman and once you beat him you you get like a whole train full of loot and I've actually gotten legendaries and e-tacks and uh, I think I even got a couple pearl essence out of it once so I mean it's it can be really good loot and there's a lot of it so it's definitely the the best uh, headhunter pack out of the mall if you want, if you just want loot. And you can keep farming that snowman as much as you want, you always get that train. So it's pretty sweet for that actually. So yeah, um, it's definitely a favorite of mine anyway. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's it's a favorite of a lot of people, actually. Just because it's so awesome. Oops, did not mean to throw that grenade. Oh well. That worked. Just grabbing the small amount of money. Yeah, so the town is called Gingerton, and yeah, pretty much everything's made out of gingerbread, gingerbread houses. Well, at least those slime sickles aren't singing any mercenary day songs now. Still, frozen customers ain't repeat customers. Which I thought was kind of cool. Check out the town furnace. See if something's wrong with it. So we'll be running back here anyway, but I just thought I'd quickly show you guys. Mercenary operations were free. Then the idiots of Pandora adopted it as a day of charity and giving and <laughs> just vomited in my mouth a little. Yeah, so it's in my opinion it's definitely one of the better ones. Um in fact it's probably my favorite actually. Because I I do like this one and I do like the Halloween one. And I do te I do like the uh, the Easter one as well, and the Valentine's Day one isn't too bad, but the um, well, again the Thanksgiving one is terrible. But I already kind of talked about that in an earlier video anyway. You guys don't need to hear me talk about that again. Crap, 
thought you living snowmen were just a myth like happy people. They must have frozen the town and ambushed my train full of guns. Get to the tracks and check out the train, would you? I feel a cold wind coming on. Don't you, children? Marcus is a really nice guy. Yeah, so, um, eventually you gotta shoot those signs, but of course it won't let me do that yet. You know, I tried to be charitable once. I gave Moxie everything when we were married. You know she's why I'm fat, right? She said, Marcus, make your enemies underestimate you. If you're ruthless, you won't be fat. Yeah, so, um, they brought back the Snow Psychos, um, they were in a side mission in, uh, ooh, can't remember the name of the area, but it's one of the early areas, I think it's Three Horns Divide or something, I could be wrong, but there was a side mission involving them, so they, I guess just because it kind of suits it, they brought them back for this one, which is kind of cool. I mean, you didn't really see them very off, very much anyway, so. Just that one small area. Didn't actually mean to throw that grenade, but oh well. <laughs> I love it when they walk into it. It's just, just plain awesome. Yeah, so, um, of course the, the Christmas presents here are, have like random stuff in them, usually ammo or money. I technically don't have to go over here, but I'm going to anyway, because there is a red chest just, just down here. I I don't think I've ever gotten anything really that great out of it, but I always check it anyway. Because that's just how I am. If there's a red chest, I try to grab it if it's not too much of an issue. There is a lot of yetis and uh, snowmen though, so... You got a bit of a fight on your hands when you go after it.
Spud is Salvador. Um, everything's pretty much easy. Yeah, so, like I say, easy peasy. Nice and easy. And here's the red chest. Ah, I was hoping that for once I'd actually get something really amazing out of it. Oh well. Just kind of checking the time, so... It's been about 11 minutes almost. I think I will cut this right here and we'll uh, continue where we left off. So we'll see you guys in just a few seconds here.